All right, this is a 2002 Ford Taurus with the dual overhead cam, which I hate working on. And, uh, man, that's what happens when you gotta change a AC compressor. You can try to use gloves, but man, you need your fingers to feel stuff. Anyway, uh, M-A-K-U-L-O-C-O, -O, I think, for tech make you look up. Great videos on how to get that AC compressor out of there, sneak it on past there, and get it up out that way. I had to cut part of the tray off the bottom of the battery. However, the one thing I learned from somebody else that may make all this, in a way, sort of worth it, um, is a three and a half to four hour job. And while you're at it, always replace those little valves, those Schrader valves at the top of these ACs if you suspect any kind of leaking at all. Heck, 22 year old car, you pull those off with a little valve, get the metal one, not the plastic one, and you put in the proper size to keep the old ones because you're gonna need them at the parts counter. Anyway, I saw this video where the guy used nothing but a towel around the belt to pull the belt on instead of uh, the standard sort of uh, two 15 uh, millimeter wrenches wrapped around each other trying to get the tension so I'm going to try and see if this will work uh, little hokey setup that's all I'm saying work and, uh, man, I'm just, there's no way I can do it without both hands I know that okay anyway you got to get the belt completely routed and centered properly and then as the last step, you can pull this belt right over. All right, so there you go. That belt is on. And that was uh, interesting, never done that before.